In this video I'll show you my process of how I made this shot. If you want a detailed tutorial on motion tracking in Blender, I'll leave a few links in the description to those as well. Import your video clip in the motion tracking workspace. You can change it back to Filmic when you're done with the tracking process. Prefetch will load your video clip into memory for a smoother playback and set scene frames matches the length of the timeline to the video clip. I used the Detect Features option that automatically detects points of high contrast and adds tracking markers. You can manually add tracking markers as well if this doesn't work for you. You can use the keyframe option to let Blender decide a range of keyframes that are best for tracking depending on the scene but I just entered that manually because it is a very short clip. Setup tracking scene adds a foreground and background view layer, adds a cube and a ground plane to the scene. The ground plane acts as a shadow catcher and is visible in the background view layer. To align the tracking scene with your video, you can select three tracking markers to use as the floor of the scene. Now, the ground plane roughly matches the ground in the video but as you can see, it's sliding to the side instead of tracking with the video. This can happen if you have a vertical video like this. To fix this, go the camera settings and change the sensor fit to horizontal. You can change the pivot point to the 3D cursor, and then rotate your camera to align it better with the video and scale the objects accordingly.
I got the character and animation from Mixamo and imported it in the project. I animated the cloth in Marvelous Designer using the same process as I showed in my previous video. This can be done in Blender as well but it takes more time to simulate. Check out my previous video if you're interested in the cloth animation process in Marvelous Designer. Here, I'm just setting up the light to match that in the video. Since my video only has a single light source, it didn't take much time to match the lighting. This part can take a while depending on your video. To see the shadows, change the view layer to background. I had some tracking markers that were near the light source in my video, that made the lighting process faster. The character looks too big according to the scene so I adjusted the scale again.
you can turn off motion blur to get a faster render, but this will make the character stand out from the video and not look realistic. I also added some depth of field to make the character a bit out of focus. This helps to make the character blend in with the scene as the video is not very clear. I edited the colors of the whole scene in the compositing tab, using a color balance node. With some editing, you can make everything blend together and make the scene more believable. I also added an asphalt material to the ground plane, I forgot to record that part. Don't forget to change the ground plane's material to get better shadows and reflections. I'll add some links in the description to more in-depth tutorials on motion tracking with Blender. This was just an overview of my process for this video. Thanks for watching.